Good evening. We'll call this June 5th, 2024 meeting of the Platting Board to order. It is 6.32 p.m. May we have a roll call? Ryan Mormon. Present. Stacy Wessel. Present. Brandy Pennington. Present. Skyler Quinn. Here. Patrick Jones. Present. Sarah Catherine Bryan is excused. You have a quorum. Thank you. Thank you. Under approvals, um, may I have a motion to approve the minutes? The motion to approve minutes was moved by Mr. Jones and seconded by Ms. Pennington. Uh, does, are there any corrections or objections to approving the minutes? Hearing none, the minutes are approved. Uh, under special order of business, any disclosures? I have one disclosure. Um, I was recused from case S12767, so I can't vote on that uh, consent agenda item. Thank you, Mr. Quinn. I will read for the record as inf informational items, the approved abbreviated plat action summaries dated 5-6-2024, 5-13-2024, and 5-20-24. May I please have a motion to approve? For a motion to renew in case S12765, the two determinations made during the May 1st, 2024 public hearing of the Board of Adjustments remand regarding the Mills subdivision. The motion has been moved by Mr. Quinn and seconded by Mr. Jones. Mr. Mr. Quinn, would you please state your motion? I move for a motion to renew the two determinations in case S12765 that were made during the May 1st, 2024 Board of Adjustment remand of Mill Subdivision. And Mr. Quinn, would you please speak to your motion? So I'm only gonna speak to my rationale for bringing this motion forward. Um, I'm of the opinion that there was ample confusion amongst the board during this case. Um, personally speaking, since being on this board, it was my first experience where we had a case that was approved by the board. It was then appealed, it went to the Board of Adjustment, and the Board of Adjustment kicked it back to us to uh, reevaluate some specific topics. Um, so I, I don't feel like I'm alone um, in feeling some of that confusion. I think that some of the dialogue during that meeting also indicated confusion amongst board members. Um, so I think that the, just the general structure of the case was a little confusing. Um, there was a decent amount of legal jargon getting thrown out. We had attorneys representing the appellant. There was an attorney representing the applicant. Um, so I think that that made it a little confusing as well. Um, I mean, we were told by the appellant's attorney that this board didn't even have the authority to do what it was that we were asked to do. Um, and whether this board agrees with that legal opinion or not, I would think that what we could probably agree on is that only added to the confusion of an already confusing case. Um, so I just think that, uh, so, so that's, that's my reasoning for putting this motion forward and I'll be supporting it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Quinn. Mr. Jones, would you like to speak to your motion? Or second? Uh, no, I think Skylar about summed up my thoughts on it as well. Thank you. Okay. And one thing I'd like to add here real quick, that there are only five members of the platting board present, and all five of us will need to vote to renew this motion. Um, anyone else wishing to provide comments? 
Um, this is Stacy Wessel. I am in full agreement with uh, what Mr. Quinn had stated earlier. Thank you, Ms. Wessel. And again, this is uh, Ryan Mormon. I'd also like to speak to this. Mr. Quinn, I do second your, your words of, uh, or your observation from the last platting board and do feel that there was some confusion and hence I will be uh, supporting this. All right, may I have, what? Any more? Hello? Oh, yes. Ms. Wessel? I lost the audio. I, I'm sorry, I didn't. Can you please say that again? I lost audio for uh, a second there. This is Stacy. Oh, perfect. Yeah, would you have something to add to this, Stacy? Ms. Wessel? No. Nope. Okay, we are ready to vote. May we have a vote? Ms. Wessel, how do you vote? Approve. Thank you. All right, the motion has passed with five yeses, zero noes. And this motion to renew case S12765 has been approved. And uh, please note that this case will come around to the next planning board meeting. So the next up on the agenda is the consent agenda. However, with Mr. Quinn's recusal, we do not have enough members present to vote on the consent agenda. And this consent agenda will be moved to the next planning board meeting. Are there any comments? Hearing none. May we please have a motion to adjourn? Mr. Chair, if I could, just, just a second. Uh, yeah, Dave Whitfield, uh, Municipality of Anchorage Planning Department, current planning manager. Uh, I'd like to just address um, the situation that we had uh, at last planning board meeting. Uh, I think that all members of the board here tonight expressed that there was confusion uh, at the last meeting. Uh, and I, I want to... Uh, let our members know, let our, our board members know that if there is confusion, if anyone is unsure of, uh, of anything uh, with respect to a, a particular case, that they can at any time ask the, uh, the board chair a question, ask staff a question. And I would uh, I'd like to say that if, if they're not sure how they're going to vote, please do not vote. Uh, let the board chair know that you're not ready to vote. Um, we can continue to discuss uh, the case until a time that, uh, that each member is ready and confident in their vote. If you need to call a recess so that you have more time to think about uh, the information that's been provided before you vote, you're welcome to do that. But please do not make a decision uh, until such time as you're confident in that decision. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Mr. Whitfield. Uh, again, we'd like to put a motion forward to adjourn. The motion has been moved by Mr. Quinn and seconded by Mr. Jones. At this time, 6.42 p.m., the meeting has been adjourned.